Hello everyone. Welcome to Informatica videos. My name is Deepika. Today I am going to explain the configuration tasks required for configuring Power Exchange Express EDC with remote logging. Today's agenda for this video will be introduction to Power Exchange Express EDC with remote logging. Then we'll go through assumptions or prerequisites, and then configuring the DB mover and PWX CCL files, and we'll have a demo. So now introduction to Power Exchange Express EDC with remote logging. You can log change data from any supported data source to logger log files on another system. What is the primary functionality of Power Exchange Express EDC? Primary function of Power Exchange Express EDC is the logger reads change data from source and logs it into log files. CDC extracts change data from logger log files and not from the source. Why is remote logging used then? You can use remote logging to reduce resource consumption on source system, move some resource intensive CDC processes to remote system, and then reduce the overhead of data transfer. So, what is the most intensive CDC process? Yes, it is the logger. So, it is usually advisable to have the source database on one system and logger on another remote system. In the example which I will be demonstrating, the setup is like this. On a Linux machine, I have installed PC and I have a PWX instance as well. The logger will be running on this system. On Windows machine, I have my database. On the Windows machine, I will have a listener running as well. CCT files will be created on Windows machine and the condensed files will be created on Linux machine. The assumptions or prerequisites are as follows. It is assumed that the products PC, PWX and clients have previously been installed with default options in two different servers plus one workstation where will you will be having navigator and pwx clients in my example i will have my database on windows i have navigator and pwx installed on the same machine so there is no need for another workstation in this case Node LN would be the listener node name running on Linux machine and Node WL would be the listener node name running on Windows machine. It is also assumed that the configurations at database level are done and also the required privileges are granted. On the listener machine, that is on the machine, where uh, we have source database db mover node statement it is the information the power exchange uses to connect to the power exchange listener on the source system from which change data is captured this name should match with the capture node parameter value in the power exchange logger this is the ip address of the windows machine on which the source db is residing other than this, all other required statements like CAPI connections and all have to be specified. For more details, go through reference manual DB mover statement. Configuring DB mover file on logger machine. Whereas on the logger machine, specify a node statement which is pointing to the listener running on Windows machine. So, this is the node statement for the uh, no listener which is running on Linux machine and uh, this would be the node statement for the listener running on Windows machine. This is the IP address of Windows machine uh, which I have already pointed out to. The, you have to specify the Windows machine IP address in this node statement. PWXCCL.CFG configuration Configuring PWXCCL file on logger machine. Capture node. This is must. This parameter has to be included in the PWXCCL file for remote logging. CCT file will be stored in the source system, that is, on the listener machine. 
the node name that the logger uses to retrieve, capture registrations and change data is called as capture node. This name should correspond to the node name in the listener statement on the source system. This name must be defined in the logger db mover file as I have already shown. The logger uses this name that is the logger uses capture node name to connect to the listener on the source system. I have already configured these things which I will be showing it to you now from the source system that is from the windows machine. Uh, I, I mean the listener machine, go to the installation folder dbmover.cfg file. As you can see this is the node statement on which the listener is running. Whereas on the Linux machine, this is my installation directory vi dbmover.cfg. So you will be having node statements like this. This is the node statement for Linux mach uh, machine listener and this is the node statement which points to the Windows machine listener node. This is the Windows machine IP address. You have to specify the IP address of the remote machine here so that it communicates with it. Whereas uh, for the PWX CCL file, capture node, this statement is must. So you have to specify the node name. This a uh, node name should have a corresponding node statement in the logger dbmover file which I have already shown. Then capture node UID and capture node password are optional. These are the things which have to be specified while configuring remote login. The next steps would be like starting the listener and logger. I am starting the listener on Windows machine, source machine and on Linux. Then the logger. I will create a source table for this test purpose. From the navigator I will register the source table to capture change data. Location of the uh, source listener name. And the database type is Oracle. Collection identifier is the one which is given in the CAPI connection. You have to enable this add registration. The schema name. the test table which we have created 
double click on it I'll select all and so that these change data will be captured the status should be made as active content should be part and execute TDL save it so we have successfully created a registration for the test table so that change data will be captured we'll make some changes to the source table and create a CDC session go to source import from power exchange this is the node name username and password click on CDC data maps connect register table click on OK now I'll create a target flat file target create a session drag the source Save it. We'll create a workflow for this session. Create new workflow. and application connection is the main thing which has to be concentrated here I already have a application connection 
I'll show it to you. The things which are to be concentrated on are location. In here, enter the node name for the listener that runs on the logger machine, that is on the Linux machine where the log files reside. Then map location name here you have to enter the node name for the location where the listener on the source system stores the extraction maps that is our source system windows machine listener node name map location username and password are optional then capi connection name override enter the name of the capex capi connection statement that is used by the listener on the system where the logger log files reside. This application connection is named as PWX Oracle CDC real time. Make sure your session also uses the same application connection. Save it. Start the workflow. This is our present workflow and it's running successful. So now we have successfully configured remote logging where we had source database on one system and PWX logger running on another system. With this we have come to the end of this video. Please write to us at supportvideos at informatica.com or https colon slash slash twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you.